Hello and welcome back to another video for Final Fantasy XIV with me, Mioni. This time we're looking at a news article uh, on obviously the uh, website Games Radar, which own the Golden Joystick Awards. This is award season coming towards the end of 2022, where all of the big award ceremonies go, which was the best game of the year and such. And uh, usually um, most people are going to lean towards Elden Ring for this as you can see and I'm sure we'll probably see something very mimicking of this when it comes to the 2022 Game Awards as well. I'm sure that will be entertaining to watch on the 8th of December when that's broadcast since uh, Final Fantasy XIV is nominated for Best Ongoing and Best Community Support for that particular award ceremony and Final Fantasy 16 is most anticipated game nominated which is pretty awesome so when it comes to the Golden Joystick Award winners then some of these might surprise you I was slightly surprised um, for example Final Fantasy 14 only won the best game community now as much as people want to meme on our Final Fantasy 14 community take it from me as someone who played many years of games like World of Warcraft and Terra Online and Arcage and you name it here, Black Desert Online, insert game here, I have tried it and played it for a decent amount of time, usually to get to max level and then for a few like weeks or months. And uh, yeah, 14 definitely, in my opinion, has the easiest community to get along with. Of course, we get our bad eggs and bad communities spring up everywhere. It's like people say, oh, I don't like this city in this part of the world. The problem is that you know their their experiences tarnish their opinion of that city but at the end of the day every city is like that that's what i'm trying to say you know it, it's gonna happen where there are people and where there is growth positive growth equals more negativity just as a factor of that growth that's just a fact as it comes to but final fantasy 14 winning best game community is actually a really solid win i think so that's that's really good and i think it is accurate um if you compare a lot of the other runners up for that if we go down to the nominations for best game community the other communities that were actually being challenged against 14 were no man's sky which honestly i i, I guess there is multiplayer but it's not a contender grid legends splatoon 3 warframe and dreams so to be perfectly honest there wasn't a great deal of of contendership here it's not like you're putting final fantasy 14 against world of warcraft or something like that so yeah uh it, it was a fairly simple victory i think but a well-earned one and it does reflect the community overall the thing that surprised me quite a lot is the uh where is it still playing award for genshin impact now that's i mean i suppose i suppose that is a good game for people to play if they like their gacha but Final Fantasy XIV, I mean, how do you compare, I mean, Elder Scrolls Online, how do you compare an MMO with something that's not realistically been out that long? I don't know. Maybe maybe it was just more popular. Of course, these are, you know, individual people voting on this stuff, but we've got some good contenders on here. I'm a little bit disappointed that it didn't get this one, but it is what it is. Um, some of these other ones, probably uh, from a fan of Final Fantasy XIV, it's very hard for me not to go best audio and see Metal Hellsinger, which is a banger of a game, by the way. Absolutely fantastic game. But when you look at what was actually um, nominated here, you can't help but think that Masayoshi Soken deserved to have at least a mention here. <laughs> but, you know, we, it is what it is. We don't all make... Uh, we don't all make these um, little awards and things. And it's it, I don't know what the process is of creating a list, but I guess it can't win everything. The only thing that can win everything is Elden Ring. And we know that. So there we go. And Studio of the Year and Elden Ring. But yeah, it is a great game. Don't get me wrong. But best multiplayer game? Question mark? Anyway, let me know what you think about the Golden Joystick Awards. If you're looking forward to the game, uh, the game awards with Jeff Keighley on the 8th of December, personally, I'm up for um, for watching that. I might restream that on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash Mioni, because it's bound to be hilarious and we can take a shot every time somebody says Elden Ring. Anyway, much love. Enjoy the rest of your day. Congratulations to Final Fantasy XIV and Square Enix and now Kiyoshida and a team for Best Game Community. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.